hello and welcome to a very special dedicated hair video. I figured it was time for me to separate this from vlogs so if anybody needs to refer to this all the information will be down below. I have a blog post I wrote about my favorite extensions that I use. I have a few different brands that I like to use. This is the most affordable way that I found I can do tape and hair extensions at home. I am not a licensed uh, cosmetologist, but I've been doing my own hair for quite some time that I feel confident in doing this myself. What we're going to do today is we're going to take my current extensions out, we're going to color my hair, and then we're gonna put the extensions back in. So let's just show you what products we're gonna be using today, and that way you can kind of get an idea of cost and what you're gonna need. So this is pretty much it for right now. I just need the extensions themselves. These ones that I have in right now, I have reused so many times. I've gotten the most use out of this hair than any other hair. I will say the only difference between this and the other hair that I've used is the other hair has more grams to it. So that means the weight is a little bit more um, and the hair is a little thicker. But I think for my hair and just what works for me, Thinner, less hair is best because it doesn't weigh down my hair that's already kind of fine and thin. This is my natural hair back here. Um, so it just depends. I think that it's gonna be based on your preferences or how much you wanna spend. I, this comes with 30 wefts. A lot of times most hair extensions come with 20 and that's just the individual little weft of hair that has the tape on it. Um, so this one comes with 30 and 30 seems to be a good number for me. I've been known to wear 40 uh, wefts in my hair before and it's a lot of hair and it's a lot stacked up in your head, but it looks really full and really pretty. So it just depends on what you like. I would say 20 is not enough, 20 wefts, but I have friends who use that much. So it just depends on how big your head is and <laughs> how thick you want it. I did get a fresh set since my hair is now officially done for. I'll put on the screen here how long the current extensions I have. I'll have to go back and look on my purchases on what, what day I bought them um, to tell you exactly how long they've lasted. So I already know that this hair is gonna last me forever. This is the Profusion 100% Human Remy. Um, it says with intact cuticle, perhaps that's why it is just so healthy. And that also sounds really creepy and I don't wanna know too much about why you would have an intact cuticle. I don't know what that means, that's creepy. Um, the length I go for is 20 inches, which is pretty long. I like my hair to be super duper long because as I wear and as I go, I do kind of trim it a little bit just to make it even across. And then each time I do my hair, I kind of lose track of what weft was where. And so some are higher than others and I have to trim it across again. So over time, it kind of starts to travel up my hair. And then also sometimes I'll like chop in some layers or something like that. So it's just nice to start with a fresh long length. So the color that I'm going for today is the light ash blonde. And I am going to just pull this through this hair because this hair really does match my current hair right now, which is just this like golden yellow. Um, I want it to be more of a mushroom blonde, like with a little bit more of a cooler tone to it. So hopefully that'll knock some of that out. This hair does come with the biggest bottle of tape solvent remover. It's amazing. I mean, that is so much, it's so generous and they give it to you. So that's another reason why I really like this hair. You can get this hair on sale quite often. I'll have links below for it. Um, I usually buy it. I'll like keep an eye on the website when I'm kind of in the market for some new extensions and I will grab them when they're on sale, which I think I've got these for a hundred bucks. For me to do a full head of extensions at home by myself for a hundred dollars is unheard of. So I'm gonna go take the extensions out. I'll show you how I do that. I also have a old towel that I don't really care about because this is probably gonna get some extension tape on it, which that gets really sticky. So it's just nice to have a towel nearby because your fingers are gonna be covered in sticky tape and hair, which is just foul. Lighting in my bathroom is not the best, so just get used to seeing my dark circles. 
But what I'll do is start with the first. So we're gonna just spray. And I try to get it like as much on the tape weft as I can. But see how you really can, not like I have to really search for them because you cannot tell that I am wearing extensions unless I forget to do like a check before I leave the house and like I slept weird on my hair and then there's like a piece showing. All right, so now I've gone around and done most of the hair. So what I'll usually do is I'll just start kind of pinching the weft to move the glue around. Then give it another squirt and just start to massage it. And so you just give it a little squirt onto your natural hair and then it literally just pulls out and then here's the hair weft. A lot of people will find this absolutely disgusting and you're right, it is. I hate, I honestly don't like hair in general. I don't like the smell of hair being done. Like I can never work at a hair salon because of the smell. Um, <laughs> never could do hair, not a fan. But my own, I can tolerate. And for some reason, someone else taped into my head, I can tolerate. But I mean, it's the, the price you pay when you really, really want long hair. And then just gently pulling the hair away from your natural hair. And just keep doing that over and over and over until you've completed it. Now, what I would do if I was about to reuse this, see how the tape, see how you can already see the tape is just separating. If I was doing this to reuse it, I would pull that tape piece off and then set this aside to wash the hair and then dry, lay the hair out to dry and then get it ready to retape. And retaping is super easy. You just order them either in a roll that you cut to, to size or you can um, get the ones that are pre-cut, which are pretty easy to use. But I actually like the ones you roll to size because sometimes the tapes are of various sizes. They're not really universal. So we're gonna do that all over my head and we'll be right back. I'm gonna go watch the newest episode of Outlander and finish my whole head. If you're going for the wet hair look, <laughs> this is just oil. I usually wear a hair, like a salon cape over my clothes, but I totally forgot to do it and probably ruined this. Rinse and clarify the hair, check the condition of the hair, see if it's in a good place, go from there. And just like that, we have news reporter hair. What we're gonna see here is the wind is going to be moving south, but strong winds might be causing some power outages. Be prepared. Like, how do they do it? If you're curious if like, you know, it's unhealthy to put in extensions a little bit. I mean, when you shower, you lose so much hair. It like travels down the back of your leg. It's disgusting. You, it's just, you don't be concerned. You will lose like giant globs of hair. All the hair that was never able to fall out because it's been inside of a tape weft just starts to kind of finally fall out from your hair and so it comes out in big chunks um, but it's it's mostly just already dead hair it's definitely not from me using the tape extension uh, part because that I take off very gently so it's not that it's really just hair that had to go I didn't realize my hair was that long see how like the front of my hair just messes with the length because that's it's actually pretty long. My hair's looking long and kind of healthy. Now I don't want to put the extensions back and I just want to like live my life like this for a little bit. Ooh, gosh, it feels good to just do that. There we go. Protect the dress. God, that hair. I feel like I'm about to like bitch everybody out on CNN about some politic. Politic? Politics. Aha! 
measuring cup. Because everything is a fourth of a cup. These are usually a fourth of a cup. Two ounces, 2.5, a little bit over. And I always use the same gloves. I use these like dishwashing gloves. <laughs> because regular gloves don't last. Garage. So I also have a cup and a brush and this and this and the developer. So we're going to check out how many parts it wants. It always tells you how many parts on the lid. Uh, this one is a one to one or one to two ratio. I'm going to do a one to one ratio. Okay. So what I'm going to do, this is all mixed. Again, don't do this at home if you are not confident in your uh, ability to color and treat your own hair. I'm not telling you to do this. This is just what I'm doing to my own. I usually will pull it a little tight. And if you're a hairstylist and you're watching me right now and you're cringing, cringe away. I've been doing my own hair for so long, I don't even care <laughs> what people think of it because it works for me. And then I flip a roo, flatten. Wow, my brows are really the casualty of this entire experiment. Uh, I'm gonna leave this on for 20 minutes. It's, it says 30 to 45, but I feel like I've already had it on for 10 because I've been just kind of massaging it into parts that looked a little orange to me still. I can tell already that I'm gonna love this color. So whenever I really love a color, I rip the top of the box lid off so that I have the name of the exact one that I want. And then I put it safely somewhere so that I always remember. And this is gonna be that perfect mushroom, blonde, taupey color that I'm going for. Well, the good news is is that this is the last time I'm going to be doing anything where I have to put my face underwater so I shouldn't lose any more layers of my eyebrows oh it looks so good this is the exact blonde I was going for I wanted just a more natural looking blonde shade that wasn't that like yellowy like just you know dirty blonde look um, but then I can just dye these so that way when it gets washed together, it fades together because this is the exact color my hair was. So it'll match. Um, so yeah, now on to dyeing these. All right, so to do this, I'm actually going to do it in my kitchen because I have more counter space. I'm going to get with this and start painting. By the way, shout out to this candle, Apple Honey Butter by DW Home. It smells freaking amazing. All right, I've got some hair laid out here. I'm just going to go one by one and do this 30 times. See why it's a hair day? Okay, I have washed and conditioned the extensions. The tape part is waterproof, so I don't scrub it, but I definitely rinse it off just to make sure there's no developer on the tape part. And now I am just going through and blow drying it so that I can straighten my hair, straighten this, and then clamp it back in. I'm, my th I'm on my third cup of coffee today also. Holy sideways rain. Okay, so now we are back in the bathroom. My hair is pulled up. I always start the extension from the bottom. And so we're gonna do our first row. I've already sorted out the ones that I feel like look less as clean and crisp on the line to start with that on the lower. You don't wanna go all the way to the bottom. You wanna leave a good gap because when you pull your hair up for ponytails or whatever, you want to be able to cover any tape. Um, so the best way to do that is just give yourself some space between the base of your neck and the extension.
So I'm going to do that all the way across. So I'm gonna have one more here. Then when I get to my ears, I try to keep them kind of far away from the top of my ears just because you don't want your hair to grow out and it start to drop. Because once it starts touching your ears, it's so irritating. So that's when it's time to take them out. Be careful when doing this too. You don't want to burn yourself. But like it's literally one, two and a half and that's it. One, two, three. Do not hold it longer than that three seconds. Look at this one, that's really bad. Ooh. <laughs> Don't judge my coloring. I was running, I ran out. So I would have needed four boxes of color. I like to set it on the edge. And then fold it over that piece of hair. So see how that creates a smaller extension sandwich? Sometimes I'll do it that way. But this is looking slightly ghetto with the blonde. So don't judge this round. It wasn't my best. But at least you're going to get the gist of it. And I can't be perfect. <laughs> this is definitely the cool toned more like mushroom blonde that I was going for this is definitely my natural hair color <laughs> uh, so I am hoping that it lightens up just a little bit I really don't care if it doesn't though because I kind of like it um, also if you have tape and extensions get yourself one of these it's called a tangle teaser and it is the best brush for being able to brush your hair without it snagging. But anyway, I'm gonna finish curling my hair and styling it and I'll see you guys in a little bit. And we're done. So the name of this color is Light Ash. So I feel like this is gonna lighten up quite a bit more, but it's very like mushroomy, um, blonde, I would say. Blonde, brown, 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 blonde. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's that. I like it. I think it looks really good. I think it came out really good. I think my hair looks really shiny and healthy, which is, <laughs> thank God. I hope this video was useful for some of you. If you have been curious on how to do at home tape and extensions, if you have any other questions, look on my blog. It, the questions, most of what I get asked, I have answered over there as well. Um, and then please use my links. They are likely affiliated in some way so I might get a small percentage but that really helps me because I make these videos for free so if you got any tips from this and end up using any of them um, it'd really help me out if you would use those links but otherwise uh, have fun and if you do do it tag me in a photo because I want to see how it turned out and yeah that's all thumbs up if you'd like subscribe if you're not and I'll see you guys on this week's vlog if you want to see how the rest of this glow up goes. I'll likely be starting it first thing tomorrow. So check me out then. Thanks so much guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.